so yeah it plays a very big role right now in the modern era yeah um so now let's move on a little bit into chennai super kings so you know being in your debut in 2018 and then csk also winning that how was that feeling so i know we mentioned a bit about it but explain kind of what the feeling was like in the dressing room kind of your emotions while watching that match as well I mean, that was a very special feeling obviously especially going into your ipl for the first time yeah i mean it's not about the finals you know the first match when you happen to be in the same dugout with all the other players that's a special feeling and you know i mean it was very scary for me as well because you know while just sitting in the dugout you look to your right you have dhoni you look to your left you have raina so there are so many big players you know it's very scary also but as time went by i got to know like yes these people are legends of the game mm-hmm. but at the same time they're just so down to earth and you know yeah. they're always are ready to help you as well so it i felt really comfortable even in my first year and yes being part of the finals although i didn't play it was a pleasure to watch the game because you know it was so thrilling and watson got a 100 that game so yeah that that was an amazing inning so it was so special and you know we were just we just kept jumping the whole way after winning the trophy now during that auction were you watching and if you were like what what were your feelings when you found out you know that you got to win and that to a chennai super kings I mean um yes I was just sitting in the same room and I was watching in that TV <laughs> okay yeah and, I mean obviously you've got a lot of nerves when you keep looking at the IPL auction and you just hope to get picked up by some franchise mm-hmm. so like any other players I was just sitting hoping that somebody would pick me and when they pick me again I was jumping <laughs> <laughs> I, I can imagine I was hoping for the season to start uh-huh Yeah, I know. I know. I was too. I was actually going to come to India for this IPL, so hopefully something happens soon. So <laughs> at least cricket, yeah. <laughs> so who is who is your CSK buddy? So who did you hang out kind of most off the field? Um, I think uh, me and Lungi and Giri we shared a good relationship and uh, okay. although it wasn't that last year because of the yeah. but first season me and Lungi we were good buddies and we hung out a lot. Okay. So as a wicket keeper yourself kind of how did it feel like being around MS Dhoni you know one of the best wicket keepers India's kind of had and you know the amount of knowledge he has so how was that i mean were you always asking him questions kind of how did that go i, I imagine during 2018 you were probably a bit more, more nervous compared to it but how did that relation kind of go Well in the beginning again i was very scared to even go talk with MS Dhoni <laughs> It, it just had to take a bit of time for me to go yeah. and talk with him. but but only when i started talking with him i got to know how down to earth he was actually he was actually willing to help you when he was actually giving you so many tips like if you go ask him a question for about a line or so he'll make sure that he he, he keeps telling you the same thing again and again as soon as you uh, until you understand it so yeah so that was really special so obviously that gave me more confidence and not only we keep keeping even while batting so there are so many tips he's given me while bat- for batting power hitting and also keeping you know his lightning quick stumping some something where i can get better at so these are all the advices he's gave me is given me okay who's the funniest person in chennai super kings funniest person i mean um probably bravo okay yeah i can imagine that yeah <laughs> probably a really a fun, fun person to be around too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so there was one fan question. Um Ajib asked, how was the feeling last year? So I mean last year Chennai being in the final again with that last ball experience kind of how was that moment? It was completely different than 2018. Kind of how was the dressing room kind of? What were the emotions like? What were your emotions like? I mean again you were just so nervous we were just this close to win the title yeah but you know no, it's just a proper good it was a very good game of cricket mm-hmm. though and it, and you have to give a lot of credit to Malik Rawls for the way he bowled that yorker yeah. at that point of time and uh, yes everybody tried their best and again Watson with his knee bleeding and stuff the way the the kind of character he showcased they were all just good learning experience for a player for an aspiring cricketer for me mm-hmm. 
so there have been a lot of learnings as well and also obviously your heart broken after the uh, defeat but still you get to learn a lot of things when you lose actually mm-hmm. obviously on the right note i would have loved to win the trophy but we did not but still there were a lot of positives 